joining these wonderful, beautiful learners at the table, the future presidents, future leaders of the country. Um, how do you feel about being um, one of the learners that are here present today at the Garden Court uh, Holiday Inn enjoying this wonderful breakfast and that um, you have goodie bags coming through? Tell us about you being here. I feel really great. Actually, I'm proud of myself for making good marks at school. I'm feeling happy. Tell us about your subjects that you're taking at school and what do you aspire to be when you grow up? Um, I'm doing dramatic art and I want to be on television. And I'm doing hospitality. Just, I want to be hospitality manager. I want to have my own business. What do you study and what do you aspire to be? I'm doing humanities and I want to do agriculture. I want to specialize in agriculture. I'm, I'm proud of when I this. I'm here. I'm doing life science and want to, I want to be a nurse. I'm proud. I enjoy it. Yeah. So do you like your sciences? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> so how do you feel about being um, the take a girl child to school? What do you feel um, it is doing in the community and that you are one of the girl children here? Yeah, I'm feel proud because it helped us. Do you want to talk to us about your views on the whole issue of young girls misbehaving at school? Um, the whole bless us situation? <laughs> <laughs> what are your views on that? Do you think it's a good thing for girls to derive from school and leave books and focus on things that are of no value such as that? No, I don't think so. Or so. Do you want to say anything to us regarding um, the girls, young girls these days and school? In order to be successful, you need to focus on your studies. Yeah, that's all I can say for now. So what do you have to say to Holiday in here today for hosting a wonderful breakfast to you? <laughs> I'm feeling great to be here. I feel great to be part of the learners who are chosen to be here. And actually, it's quite a nice hotel. Nice. So tell us about what do you want to do when you grow up? Um, I want to do a mechanical engineering since I do um, mechanical technology and science subject. Okay, so tell me about um, your views on the young girls like you who are at school but who are more interested in other things that are of no value. Oh, it's not really good to focus on things that are not important in your life because we all want to be successful. In order for us to be successful, we need to stay focused. Good yeah. girl. Take a girl child to school table. <laughs> Are you enjoying your breakfast? Um, it's very good to be here and the breakfast is really great here. So, so what would you say to other girls out there who are not interested in achieving anything of value in life? What would you say to them? Do you think these kind of opportunities will reach them? Um, it's really good to focus on a brighter future than to like look at other things that are not necessary. Yes, so like being in a great future and like the great lead the leaders of tomorrow. Yes. Good girl. Yes. <laughs> okay, enjoying breakfast with your learners. Um, <laughs> this is a site that is not very often seen um, teachers or um, you know teachers um, educators enjoying their meal rather with their students. So how does that feel firstly and secondly tell me about here today and the school that has been chosen what, what is the name of the school and why these particular learners? Okay, thank you so much for the opportunity that you have offered to me. The first thing that I would like to say is to thank you very much for the program uh, that uh, you, you are putting over to our girls and give them the opportunity to come and see uh, the ladies in a meeting with other ladies, young ladies like this, because sometimes if you try as an educator, uh, tell them about the outside world. It's very difficult for them to understand that. We are the, these are the girls from Joseph Secondary. The criteria also that have applied to choose these girls is because of their performances, which I've just said. Look at the beginning of the year of how they are showing the interest of having a successful life. And then I've applied the criteria to pick up each and everyone for the various learning 
uh, era that they are, they are doing at school. I've got the ones for commerce, for science, or humanities, so that they're going to be exposed on the outside world and see what is actually happening there. Because most of our learners that we are working with, they're coming from informal settlements, so it's, they're not being exposed to environment like this. So if you, uh, you guys can at one point try and extend the numbers of the girls whom you can take them to a program like this so that they're going to be exposed. Maybe in future we'll minimize the number of learners, or of girls that are being abused by the boys, by the what you call these guys who are trying to give them fancy things as if they cannot stand on their own. Yes. So, so uh, is this your class? Uh, not really. It's, it's an amalgamation. It's a mix of. of I've said it's the learners from various classes that have chosen to be part of this as the deputy of the school. Okay. So, I, what is your position in the school? I'm the deputy principal in the school. Yes. Good for you. Another woman. Exactly. Power to women. <laughs> exactly. Power to women. This is what I'm also trying to show my girls here as I'm sitting with them. I also really appreciate the moment of sitting with my girls, having a chat where we are having a girls talk. While, and I'm also portraying another picture to them for what they normally see me as the deputy principal, that they see me as their friends today, where we are sharing everything. Just for one day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All the best. Thank you. Thank you.